What is going on, my friends, my family? Welcome back, Matthew 22. Guys, you already know what is about to happen here. I'm not going to waste a lot of time talking. We're just going to jump right into it. We got another action figure extravaganza for you guys. And the figures are already, already falling down. So let's just jump into it, guys. Let's just do it. And... Let's go ahead and kick it off with this GameStop exclusive Emma Frost because she fell. She's been shelf diving. Uh, that tells me she wants to be first, man. So, all right. First things first, uh, she's got the booby window. Yeah, you know, that was uh, how she was rocking in, in the comics. So, for all, uh, for all of you boys out there, there you go. Just kind of paint it on. Torso is pretty much, and the legs are just painted on. A little bit of paint detail in the legs. And she's got this pretty minimal cape. Uh, the X shoulder, the X shoulder pads on the side, and they are separate. And the face sculpt is good, man. I dig the face sculpt. So actually, I do have the package for Emma Frost, but uh, I don't have it because... I accidentally threw it out and she did come with some alternate heads but i'll show you guys those later because i'm working on something but uh yeah solid figure anyway the belt is a separate piece and she just has the gloves with the spell casting hand not really a lot going on there uh articulation head moves side to side arms you know like i said uh i say this every time but standard Female articulation, uh, nothing really new or out of the box here. Good figure, solid figure. She definitely com works with that team uh, with the red and black Cyclops and the Cuckoos and the white Magneto and the magic we got. So she just completes that team. But very nice, very solid figure. Uh, let's just keep moving on, man. Speaking of booby window, we have... Our DC Universe Classics Power Girl, and they definitely, the sculptors, had fun with this one. Uh, other than that, the figure is okay. She does have the white bathing suit thing, and there's some black shading on it, so that's pretty decent. She got the little red cape. It is a solid plastic. Uh, no really paint in the legs. And the blue boots, blue gloves. Again, she's got a nice face sculpt little bit of shading in the hair so the hair's got the blonde and it's got a little bit of kind of darkish gold in there so that looks pretty good and she does have the belt there is a little paint smudge here uh, i did buy this figure loose a couple of these figures i got loose especially the dc universe classics so uh you know when you kind of buy loose uh paint smudges do tend to happen but yeah there you go very happy to finally have a power girl i've been She's been on the list for quite some time, and it's just a matter of getting around to it. Next, moving on, guys. We have our DC Universe Classics Mantis. You can see there is quite a DC Universe Classics. Uh, there is quite a few here. I went on a little bit of a buying binge uh, for DC UCs just to try to finish up the build of figures. I'm still kind of doing it, but now uh, I got something else going. So i kind of taken a step back. So not going to be too much more DC UCs. Uh, after this at least for a minute but we uh we, we got some stuff coming up and anyway, sorry guys uh, i just uh i spaced out for a minute yeah my my apologies uh all right mantis pretty cool dig the face sculpt this is more like comic accurate the classic mantis uh, I got this guy MOC. I paid a little more to get this version just because this is the authentic Mantis. He's got a weird kind of cape. Weird. It, lo it looks like a fruit roll-up. It's like a fruit roll-up cape. That's what it kind of looks like to me. I, I dig it, though, and there's some shading on it. Uh, not so much shading on the rest of the figure, but he does have some green paint. Other than the gloves and the boots, there's not really any real sculpting on this guy but solid enough figure i like it i like the kind of lime green and the forest green they kind of blend nicely together and like i said the face sculpt is just really gnarly uh, very cool Whew. all right i'm gonna keep it going 
Next, we have Superboy, the death and return of Superman, Superboy. I know a lot of people like the jeans and the black shirt version. I, I kind of more... I, I kind of more like this version of Super, uh, Superboy. Uh, starting already, guys. Get, get back there, Paige. You stand there. You stand there. It's not time for you yet, Paige. I'll tell you when it's your turn. Uh, anyway, guys. I like this version, and I needed this version, actually, to complete my Trigon, so kind of made sense that I would buy this version. But good figure. He's got the face sculpt. He's got the sunglasses. The jacket is a separate piece, and it is somewhat removable, but the, the, the sleeves are not attached to the jacket, so if you take the jacket off, you would still kind of have the black sleeves. The deco on the Superboy logo is painted nicely. He's got two belts. There you go. Buckles on the bottom of the boots are not painted. Uh, well, the straps are painted, but the buckles are not. You got the red gloves. Good enough figure. And, you know, I've been kind of eyeing this one for a while. Not just because I needed a Superboy, but just because I wanted to uh, finish off Trigon. But uh, continuing our DC Universe Classics. We have Donna Troy. We have Wonder Girl. Really excited for this one, man. Donna Troy is one of my favorite DC figures. Uh, I do still want to get the version of her that's actually Donna Troy. And not just Wonder Girl. But this is a good figure. Except the fact she's kind of bull-legged. Like I can't get her legs to just kind of go normal. They tend to want to go out like that. But... You know, it, it, it's it's all right because she still does stand okay. And that's the big thing. Like, can she stand? Uh, face sculpt is pretty decent. She, love the hair sculpt. And there's some kind of blue shading in the blackness of the hair, which is nice. She's got the yellow stars going around, going around the front and the side of her attire. And she's got the blue kind of... Uh, there's a there's a word for those. I, I forgot the girl. Ma, uh, anyway, anyway, guys, she's got the kind of blue going on there. Gauntlets, uh, gauntlets, but there's another word for it. I, I just can't think of it. I'm drawing. I'm drawing a blank. Uh, there we go. It always it always happens at some point. Got the black boots, uh, lasso. No other accessories, but decent enough figure. Uh, head moves side to side. Our moves up like that and this is pretty much the same movement as power girl so you know I try to shorten make these a little bit shorter by not going over uh, multiple articulation points like oh I got a lot of Mattel figures here I'm only gonna do articulation for one and I probably will skip it for Paige and Oscar too because the same pretty much it's the same articulation it's the same Mattel female articulation but moving on we have some Disney figures I don't get a lot of Disney figures but we you know every once in a while so we have the Disney toy box genie uh, just everything's trying to fall over today we have Disney toy box genie this is a really nice figure minus okay minus a couple complaints so I love the size he's a nice hefty thick boy uh of a figure but the legs are way too short uh way too scrawny and the feet the feet don't support his upper body at all so stand standing this guy is like a chore uh okay so he's actually standing now of course just because i'm recording he wants to stand but for the most part standing this guy can uh, be a little bit tricky but uh, all in all, I still really dig this figure. I still think this is the best genie figure. Uh, in, in terms of paint, there's nothing too special going on, but they nailed it on the face sculpt. So very happy. And of course, to go along with genie, we have Aladdin, our Disney toy box, Aladdin, uh, and Abu. You know, get the little Abu, because why not? 
And Abu's got a little bit of articulation. Not very much, though. But, uh, Aladdin... See, see here, his legs are a bit longer. They're more proportioned to his body, so that's why he kind of tends to stand okay. Uh, but still good figure. Uh, he comes with the lamp, which he can't really hold. Maybe hold it in this hand. I find I couldn't get him to hold it, so I just kind of put his finger in there. But you could probably do it on this hand too. Let's try it. Yeah, so there. He looks a little better holding it with that hand holding the lamp if you can get him to keep holding it good figure articulation you get the head you get get some movement on the arm waist hips uh, it's a joint right there that can't really do much but you know i guess uh I, I, I guess it's better to have it than to not have it. So, very cool. Let's get Aladdin out of the way. I like these toy box figures, man. They don't come out very often, but... I, I'd really like to see uh, Diamond Select kind of beef it up and do more like Disney characters. Like, they already have the Kingdom Hearts license, and they're knocking off a lot of Disney figures through that line. But I would definitely like to see them give us more disney figures all right guys so we almost forgot a dc universe classic we almost forgot our blue beetle our ted cord version of blue beetle uh really excited to have this one okay so right off the bat no there's no sculpting on this guy minus the belt with uh the satchel and the reason why i kind of have his gun pegged in because he just doesn't really hold it well you know, it just kind of goes in like that. But he has no trigger fingers. He doesn't hold it great, but he doesn't hold it terribly. Just, uh, you know, don't want to kind of lose it. The figure himself, though, is really solid. Like I said, I like the deco. I think when it comes to that, they really, really hit it out of the park. Uh, sculpting, it is what it is. The face sculpt is good, and the eye, the eyeglasses or the goggles are sculpted on. And you can actually see the eyes through so that's nice nice attention to detail right there uh, articulation again very very standard mattel articulation like what you get here is is what you're gonna get with the with the wrestling figures like the wwe figures like there's nothing there's nothing uh nothing different sorry just want to make sure i thought i wasn't recording for a minute yeah like i said uh nothing new here pretty much standard mattel guy articulation but nice figure very happy to have this figure either way uh, wanting this one for a long time all right let's just kind of do it because we have a lot to go over here again i'm not gonna go over articulation on any of these guys because you've already seen what Mattel can do for females and males. And again, I don't want this video to be an hour. But we have five WWE figures, uh, which you can't all, which you can't even all see in, in frame. Uh, there we go. All right, so we have. Let's just kick it off. Uh, there we go. All right, let's just kick it off with Asuka. So first things first, she comes with two accessories. She comes with the crown or the headpiece, and she comes with the mask. I think she was originally supposed to come with a robe, but that ended up getting cut. Uh, so you can see she comes with the mask right there, and it kind of fits on nicely. And I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, Deco is nice. It, it, she definitely doesn't suffer from the same problem as the last, last Asuka. I find she doesn't look as stumpy. Uh, that was my complaint with the first Elite. But, yeah, you can see pretty nice deco. It's got the thong line. Uh, got the little tassels coming out of the arms and the torso. But, yeah, nice figure. I like this. I like this Asuka. And I like the color scheme. I like the dark purple and the dark blue and then the green and the hair. 
complements it really well. Our next elite figure we have Paige, Asuka. So I picked up Asuka and Paige. Uh, they both at Toys R Us. Uh, so we have Elite Page. I think the face sculpt here is excellent. Uh, the face sculpt, the hair sculpt, just Mattel really killed it. And the soft goods jacket, which is nice. It, it doesn't allow you to articulate her as much. But I think the hoodie looks good. You know, it's studded. It's got the studs all over. And you can see she's got the fishnets, which are just kind of painted on, but they feel like they're there in the boots. Uh, and then she's got the Paige shirt. Kind of sad. I feel like this might be Paige's last uh, figure in terms of like being a wrestler. But if it is, then I think they really did her a service here. I think they really did a good job on this figure. And I really like this Paige a lot. Uh, like I said, the face sculpt. Excellent. Mattel killed it. Next, we have Elite Johnny Gargano. This is another figure I think Mattel did a really good job. Uh, accessories. So basically he comes with a bunch of hands and a fire extinguisher. Kind of see there's got two fists, two grabbing hands, and two, you know, kind of he does that for part of his entrance. So you get two hands. You can do that on either side. He does have the carnage vest. I forget which takeover he wore this at and the deco on the trunks it says johnny wrestling looks really cool some nice texturing on the vest i think that looks really excellent uh again on the boots the knee pads the the deco here is mind-blowing i think they mattel really killed it and like i said i like the face i like the kind of sculpting not sculpting sorry uh texturing on the vest face sculpt spot on uh yeah kudos mattel you really over over delivered with this johnny gargano uh yeah not too much else to say because i think th this is one case where i think uh how do you say it? like images say more than words ever could so just by by seeing it is is saying more than i could i ever could say next we have the uh retro fest honky tonk man Okay, for starters, the face and the jumpsuit are awesome. Uh, I don't want to go lie. I'm not going to try to take the jumpsuit off. He does have his light blue pants underneath, which I can kind of pull up the leg a little bit, and you can kind of you can kind of see. And they just have guitars, red guitars going up the side. This is yeah, this is a really real uh, pain in the ass to get on and off. And on the back, some nice detail on the back. Uh, I think this was, he wore this at WrestleMania. I don't remember. Maybe he wore this regularly. You know, he's got the Honky Tonk Man at the front. Uh, this is it, man. I would say, I would say this is it. This is the definitive Honky Tonk Man. If you're waiting for a better Honky Tonk Man, I, I think you will have a hard time finding one. He does have the guitar, which is, is, is breakaway. So... That's very cool, but yeah, this, this I would really say this is it, man. Face sculpt is great. Hair sculpt is great. Everything about this figure is just great. I, I think that's the definitive honky tonk, man. I think yeah, be hard pressed to try to beat it. All right, next we're gonna do our Cassius Ono, but really quick, his only alternate accessories he comes with two fists. He usually comes with two fists and two grabbing hands. All right, we have the elite. Uh, Cassius Ono, excellent figure. This was a uh, Christmas present from my good, good, good friend Ian. So thank you for that. Uh, so he's got the fight robe, the kind of boxing robe, which is nice. Nice soft goods. Dockout artist on the back. Face sculpt, I think, is perfect. I think they 100% nailed the face sculpt. Hair sculpt is good. And then he wears the, the uh, basketball jersey. So that looks nice. You can see on the back, got the big Ono deco on the trunks. Knockout artist, awesome. Uh, and then he wears the arm sleeve, which again is just painted. But again, the deco 
uh, they just they just nailed it. It's almost a figure that I'm almost sad because I almost want to take the the robe off. I wish the robe wasn't so nice, but it is uh, because the deco on this figure is just so good. And, and you know, and I've I've said it before, when Mattel wants to over deliver, they will. I, I just wish they would have given this much love to the DC figures uh, maybe they would still have the license because when Mattel wants to put out great products they do and this is evident there's nothing I can think of that would make this figure any better uh, elbow pad just painted on which I'm fine with to be honest there's no deco on it anyway so I'm okay with it uh, yeah just really really excellent figure i think mattel absolutely killed it uh, i'm not gonna try to take too much longer guys i'm gonna try to wrap this up really quick we have our uh, black series babu frick uh, this came in a two-pack with c-3po i just wanted the babu frick uh, and i sold the c-3po you know, the little welder's mask that comes down no really articulation minus the waist and the arms but yeah, if you're a universe builder, you gotta have Babu Frick. Uh, yeah, not not too much to say. Just kind of quickly show that off. Let's keep the wrestling going with another wrestler from a very different company. We have the figure toy company Matt Taven. Matt Taven from Ring of Honor. When it comes to soft goods jacket, this is really nice, really glossy, shiny, looks good. You can see the Matt Taven logo down the side of the arm. And you got the same logo right there. Kingdom logo on the back. Uh, then the boots are nice. Face sculpt is questionable. And uh, I didn't get this uh, I didn't get this Singapore cane or the kendo stick. That actually came with Delirious. But I kind of, when he was with the kingdom, when he was rocking the kingdom, you know, he was carrying that around. He was, he was, he was known for that. So I just kind of gave it to him. I think it looks just fine. Uh, I think this is a good enough figure. Good enough for what FTC kind of normally puts out. A lot of their products are pretty uh, questionable. You can see you get the range of motion there. Wrist hinge. Waist twist. And then cut joints on the legs. Which I don't even want to try to articulate this guy too much because... These figures, uh, I find they're really delicate, man. I find they're really fragile. Last thing I want to do is break it. All right, let's get into our Fortnite Ice King. Uh, oh, man. You're, you're, you're killing me, Fortnite. You're killing me. Really beautiful, beautiful figure here. I love all the sculpting. I mean, the paint, the dark blue and the black, they really look nice together. And for his weapons, he comes with this giant sword, which is painted very nicely, and it's sculpted very nicely. And then he comes with this, I guess this is supposed to be the pickaxe. Uh, it's kind of like a torch with some blades on it. Very cool. For, first one to actually not come with a gun. He doesn't have a gun. He has a sword instead. But you know what? I think this guy just looks great. Again, I'm not a big Fortnite player. I play... I play here and there, I mostly have it on my Switch, and I, I kind of, whenever I need to kill some time, and my TV is occupied, I'll, I'll maybe throw it on if I have nothing better to do, but for the most part, I don't play Fortnite, so I'm not really familiar with this one, but uh, really cool. Uh, the ankles are a little bit soft, I find, so they don't do a great job of supporting him, because he is a hefty figure. He is pretty weighty, but... Face sculpt is good. Everything about this figure is good. Uh, no articulation on the head because obviously. But other than that, you do get the rest and even the shoulder patches are on shoulder patches. Shoulder pads are on hinges so they won't inhibit the articulation. But then you also kind of have butterfly joints. So Fortnite doesn't usually do this. McFarlane doesn't usually do this. But you got butterfly joints, man. So that definitely adds a lot to the value of this figure, I would say. Uh, diaphragm joint, got the cut joint, got the legs, they hinge out, of course, that far. 
the knees do typically bend this one's a little bit stuff stuck that's about the most i can get i'm not going to try to force it you know and this part these little sashes whatever you want to call them they are soft goods and for the backpack it's just got more like sashes very cool man like i said uh with mattel when mcfarland wants to put out a really solid product they they know how to do it and this is evidence excellent figure if, if, even if you're not into Fortnite and you're just kind of into ACBA or uh, toy photography, definitely worth picking up. All right, last two. We're going to wrap this up quickly. We have our game, our uh, NECA Spyro. Nice uh, texturing on the skin. Uh, the horns look really cool. The wings and the wings are on hinges. And the tail does have several articulation points so you can move the tail almost any direction you want face sculpt is good i like the face sculpt um sorry guys give me just one sec just bear with me for one sec all right yeah i think the spiral looks good eh, you know for the price point he's good doesn't come with any accessories but that's okay he's gonna look nice next to the crash he's gonna complement crash really really well and, uh, you know, I like the different colors. I like the darker purple and this, you know, kind of the softer purple. Nice sculpt, nice texturing, like I said. And, you know, it's got some texturing there. Really cool figure, really thick figure. I like it. But last, speaking of thick, just to get the accessory out of the way, that you can see the alternate Odin head. We have the Marvel Select Destroyer took me a while to find this guy at a reasonable price i i didn't pick this guy up when he first came out and i really wish that i did but i kind of slept on him but you know what it's okay because i have him now and i'm very happy to have him it's a really solid figure minus uh minus the articulation he doesn't have a lot of it but that's okay because he's a big robot he's not supposed to wear a big suit of armor what he does have you know, you got the head, you got minimal movement in the arms, but you got the bicep swivel. And again, the shoulder pads are on hinges. Rotation in the hand and single jointed elbow diaphragm. You know, it is Marvel Select and not known for being overly articulated, but this guy's articulation matches what it's supposed to. He's got the spikes all coming down, which looks nice. And the detail on the sword is just awesome. I think the sword is more for Odin, but I, I think he looks cool holding it anyway. Uh, yeah, just nice. Uh, in terms of paint, it's just a shiny metallic silver deco. And then he has a little bit of black shading here and there. Not too much. You can see like on the legs and upper torso. But excellent, excellent figure. Uh I'm really, really happy to have this. I don't know if Hasbro's ever going to make a build a figure of this, but if they did, I'm going to be honest, I think this guy would be really, really hard to beat because I think this is just a solid figure, and I'm glad I finally got him. And if you're still kind of on the fence about getting this one and you can find him for a good price, I definitely recommend it because this figure is definitely worth the investment. But guys, uh, just show you the quick helmet sculpt. Not a lot to say. That is going to be it, guys, because uh, my camera is literally about to die. Thank you guys for watching. Again, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, definitely help me out. Turn notifications on if you really want to help me out. As always, uh, critiques, feedback is, is welcomed uh, if you're not a dick. If you're a dick, I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to delete your comment. But if you got some constructive feedback, I'm always happy to hear that. I'm always happy to talk to you guys. Uh, thank you so much for your support. And I think that's it. I think we're going to end it here. Have yourselves a great day. I will see you in the next video. Oh, don't forget to, if you want to see the packaging, don't forget to stick around to the end of the video. And you can see the packaging. If not, then I will see you in the next video. Have a great day and bye. All right, what is going on, everybody? As always, take a quick look at the packaging, uh, which I did tell you I would deliver. And I will. Huh. So here we have the blister card for uh, the toy box, Aladdin, nothing really uh, 
Nothing really spectacular there. And we also have Genie. So Aladdin is number 11. Genie is number 12. We have the Matt Taven pack. Uh, I, I like these because you can kind of just slide the figure back in. Some other figures available. I think that's actually, I think that's like their whole Ring of Honor lineup. Look pretty good. I didn't get them all. There's quite a few I didn't get. Excuse me. I'm going to sneeze. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Spyro the Dragon right there. Got the blister pack for that. See Spyro right there. There's a little bio. Of course, if you want to read that, uh, feel free to pause this video now. We have Elite Johnny Gargano. Elite Series... 70. And there you go. Uh, the only other one I got was EC3 and Dolph Ziggler from this wave. The Network Spotlight Asuka. I didn't get anybody else from this wave because the, the Diesel was god-awful. And the gender uh, just wasn't impressive enough to warrant me getting it. Excuse me, I keep thinking I'm going to sneeze. I don't know why. We have DC Universe Classic Superboy. There is our Trigon Wave. Very cool. Bio right there for Superboy. Of course, if you want to read any of that stuff, feel free to pause the video. And you guys already know. Same thing with Mantis. If you want to read any of that, of course, um, pause the video. Now. And Miss Donna Troy as well. Cool. I'm very happy to uh, finish off that Trigon. We have Fortnite, Ice King. I do know about the base. Don't worry, I will get it out of there. I think I've reviewed all of these um, pretty much at this point. I think I've reviewed all these Fortnite figures. So we have the arcade kind of box for Honky Tonk Man. Looks pretty nice. Man. We got Paige. Paige and uh, Cassius Ono were kind of like exclusives. I got them at Toys R Us. Let's see, box for Cassius Ono, NXT Collector's Edition. There you go, little little uh, stat right there. And it's funny that Cassius Ono has one, and Paige doesn't, and they were like the same wave. Never, never noticed that. And there's Marvel Select Destroyer. So you got a nice bio back there. Of course, you already know the drill, guys. Destroyer. Very cool. Yeah, so that is the packaging, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you next time.